ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Benny and Moose Save America, where every week we strike out against toxic fandom and the failure of the American education system through the power of barroom trivia. I'm your host, Benny, and as always, I'm joined by the real reason Miss Piggy left Kermit, Mark the Moose Haas. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll say that. I mean, I think Kermit went vegetarian and couldn't eat pork anymore, so that might be the reason why those two split. But, uh, Benny, how you doing, man? I'm so excited for this episode because we're just filled with hosses this episode. It's going to be great. I was doing great, but now I have some very disturbing Muppet imagery running through my head, Moose. <laughs> so, so, uh, very, so very happy to have put that image in your head. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moose, this is a very special episode. We're Tonight we are filming every lady's dream. We have three red hot hosses on deck. Who do we have tonight, Moose? Well, we are bringing in uh, my brother Tommy Gunn uh, and his son, my nephew Laszlo, and they are planning to compete tonight in an Adam Sandler match. They've been wanting to play on the show, and I asked them what category, and unanimously they chose an Adam Sandler-themed match. So all questions this match are going to be an Adam Sandler to three of the biggest, or excuse me, two of the biggest hostels you have yet to meet. I mean, being the third. Are you sure? I don't know. We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, Laszlo Beaker Haas. What's up, guys? How's it going? Laz, what's up, buddy? Hey. How you doing? Good. My lights flickering. I don't know what's going on. We got ghosts. We got ghosts in the house or something. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the electric grid cannot handle this much hoss at once. <laughs> That's what it is. I, We're going to induce one of us into a seizure here shortly. So hopefully yeah. it's Tommy and you get the win. Let me turn this light off. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Well, Laz, we're excited to have you on, buddy. Uh, to be on. We ask everybody the, this question when they come on our show. This being an Adam Sandler themed match, what is your favorite Adam Sandler movie and why? Uh, you know, probably gonna have to go a little generic answer. Go Billy Madison. You know, I don't know. I grew up on that movie. You know, you know, my dad, who you'll see shortly, he influenced me heavy, liking that movie. You know, I can quote that movie all day long. You know what I'm saying? Leg. You know. You know. <laughs> But, I do know um, what you're talking about when you say like popular answer. Probably that's my boy. Mish oh, okay. Mish oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that that movie gets the credit that it really deserves. It's hilarious. Andy Sandberg's hilarious. Sandler's hilarious. Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice classic. Oh, that's yeah. my boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, we're excited Absolutely. to have you on board, kiddo. Are you uh, ready to play a little movie trivia? Oh, I'm ready. Trust okay. me. I'm going to drop you out, and I'm going to bring in your opponent. Your All right. And introducing next, his opponent, the final triumphant of Haas, Tommy, the machine gun, Haas. Tommy boy. Gentlemen, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for being on, man. Uh so I'm going to ask you the same question, man, that we asked Laszlo. Uh, your favorite Adam Sandler movie and why? And why also did you choose to play your son in this? Well, um, my son, like like he mentioned, he is the smaller, not as athletic and not as good looking as I am version of me. So, But that being said, I have raised him right um, through the Adam Sandler ways. And that's really the, this is really the one category I could see us kind of being on level ground. Okay. And what is your favorite Sandler movie and why? Uh, I, I, I'm a Sandler guy. So, you know, he's, a, he has an acquired taste for a lot of people, but I know that um, he, he's my taste. So at the moment I love pixels. I don't know why I just love it. I love the whole theme and uh, it, it just speaks to me, but um, yeah. I'd have to say Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore are kind of, you know, my wheelhouse, too. I love okay. them. Nice. Now, Moose says he regularly beat you up as a child. Is that part of the reason your sense of humor is so so warped and depressed? <laughs> Pretty sure that's the complete opposite, as Tommy is my bigger brother. 
<laughs> I'm gonna answer that by not answering it. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. All right. Well, let's let's bring in your your uh, your dust mop here, aka Lazlo. Fifty percent. That's good. Okay. Let's go. Round number one. You will get nine questions, each worth one point. Each team or player receives all nine questions posed to the field, so a whiteboard or writing instrument is required. Each question is worth one point. There is no stealing. There is no penalty for missing the questions. You can enact the household rule once you hear the category. You can double down. And you also have your bartender's hints available in round one. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to play a little movie trivia? Adam Sandler movie trivia? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. We're going to kick it off with Benny asking you the first question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, starting off with question number one in your round number one with Adam Sandler movies. The not good one. So I guess we're looking at anything other than Happy Gilmore here. In what Adam Sandler-led movie do Adam Sandler and Kevin James play firefighters who agree to marry so that Kevin James' character can get his children benefits on his life insurance policy? Pretty sure as soon as we said Kevin James and firefighters, these guys knew it. But still add a little more context clues in the writing there for these, for these handsome gentlemen here. It's the third entry in the Godfather franchise, I'm pretty sure. That helps. I'm more positive as well. And Alrighty. Five, four, three, two, one. Laszlo. Uh, I didn't know how to spell pronounce, so. Good enough. Yes, that, that works. Prounce. I don't know how to spell it either. Prounce. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, I didn't know how to spell it. And Tommy. Same. Sort of. Nice. Good I job. To spell it. Is that I correct spelling? Legible. That is correct spelling, lads. It's not, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, but we'll take it. I been in school we do not discriminate against misspelled words. School. Yes, and, I, and I'm pretty sure the Episcopal Canyon has pronounce and not pronounce, so they're they're good either way. Yeah. <laughs> Question number two, guys, on the category of cute couples. Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler have been in how many movies together? I knew this was going to come up. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I think, hopefully, it's okay. hopefully, it's okay. hopefully, you don't overthink it, because we're going to count down to five, four, three, two, and one. Tommy Gunn, what do you got? That's correct for a point. And Laszlo? Dry. Well done, gents. Well done. There are two threes in the answer and three hosses on the screen. It has to mean something. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Like the number 21, right? Just hearing. Not good. All right. Question number three in the category of early Sandler, early Adam Sandler. In what movie did Adam Sandler play the role of Pip, a drummer in a band called Lone Rangers? Who hold a radio station hostage? Funnily enough, in college, I held a radio station hostage, but it was for very different reasons. Can we know, like, one of them? Explain. No, according to the plea deal, I'm not allowed to talk about it in public. They felt it would encourage other people. Understood. Okay. And in five, four, three, two, one. Tommy. Um, I believe it is Airheads. That is correct. And Laszlo. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. There's nothing oh, on my oh. blog. <laughs> That's the one I haven't watched. I haven't watched Airheads. That'll okay. teach you to be born after a movie is made. 
much I can do about that. Question number four, guys, in the category of quotes. In what Adam Sandler movie will you hear the qu following quote? Gee, you know that information might have been useful yesterday. Had to, uh, I mean, it was written in all caps with four exclamation points, so I felt like it was necessary for me. It to was know. appropriate. Yeah, it was nice too. There should be like a volume indicator with each you know, successive explanation point. So you know how loud to get. I mean, we're still working out the, the details of the show. So maybe we'll figure that out in the next one. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's start with Laszlo. What do you got, buddy? Wedding singer. The wedding singer is correct. Tommy gun. Damn it. I blanked. Ooh! I blanked. Oh, that old man. All tied up. <laughs> All That's supposed to be your movie. What happened? Good <laughs> heavens. Now, as soon as you said wedding singer, I knew it. Damn it. All right. All right. Question number five in the category of Zohanisms. Zohanisms. In the movie, you don't mess with the Zohan. What frequent happy Madison actor plays the role of Fatouche, the phantom Hakbraha? the Zohan's biggest adversary and rival. And my apology to anyone that has a bunch of H's and R's in their name. That is ridiculous, Benny. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to be that insensitive, but in fairness to me, I have struggled pronouncing players on the show's name, let alone fictional terrorists. It was a really long, absorbent answer, and I don't really know why. So anyway, let's go with Laszlo. Uh, I haven't seen Don't Mess with the Zohan in about five years, so don't get mad at me if this is incorrect. Is it Schneider? No. That Schneider. may be the most incorrect answer we've ever had, Laszlo. Oh. Maybe the most incorrect answer we've ever had. Uh, Tommy? Um, I may have spelt his last name wrong, but I think it's John Turturro. Yeah. That is correct. Turturro, Turturro. I'm not sure. You're, you're one hour off, but you got it. Well nice. done. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, the dark. I think I pronounced it uh, the wrong way. Question number six. I really was hoping somebody would ask a bartender's hint on that one because our bartender's hint for John Turturro was awesome. Damn it. Question number six in the category of serious Sandler. Name the Adam Sandler movie directed by Judd Apatow from the plot. When seasoned comedian George Simmons learns of his terminal and operable health condition, he desires to get back into stand-up comedy and takes on a young, unknown comic under his wing as his joke writer and tries to rekindle past relationships. You know, Moose, like taking aside like little weird indie films, like my top 10 worst major motion picture releases that I've ever seen, this movie is squarely in the top five. I <laughs> that that helps, guys. All right. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Tommy Gunn, we'll start with you. <laughs> <laughs> terrible impersonation, but yes. Is that real good? Uh, and Lazo, how about you, bud? Yeah, funny people. I actually thought that this movie was going to be hilarious when I watched it. <laughs> and then, like, two hours later, I wish that I had. Taking my eyes out. <laughs> yes, it is like getting kicked square in the nuts with unfunniness. Yeah, so sometimes Pretty it's hard to be an Adam Sandler fan. <laughs> yeah, often, <laughs> oftentimes it is. All right, your seventh question in the category of athletes in Sandler movies. Nice. What professional basketball player plays himself in 2019 drama crime thriller Uncut Gems? It's Bob Cousy, just so you guys know. Just helping you out there. I don't know that it's not. No, he, he was dead long before this film was made, I'm pretty sure. Him I'm a huge time. Bob Cousy fan, too, so I would know that. He's not in there. We'll count you guys down in five, four, three, two, 
one. Laszlo, your guess? KG. It is Kevin Garnett. That's correct. And Tommy? Yep, I screwed up. Barkley. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Wow. That's terrible. Wow. That's simply terrible. <laughs> you know, I yeah, I heard the question right, but I was thinking hustle, not uncut gems. And uh, uh yeah. So that was a minor glitch on my brain. Fuck. It's all good. Moving on to the next question, guys. In the category, uh, question number eight is in the category of who done it. Who played Chubbs Peterson, a former professional golfer who lost his hand to an alligator and who agrees to mentor Happy in the ways of golf? You know, I'm kind of cheering for Tommy in this match because, like, I, I feel like if he loses, like, Laszlo's college fund is going to get spent on something really, <laughs> like, uh, extraneous tonight. Can I get a bartender hit? Can I get the bartender hit? Okay, sure. Uh, you're going to get the question, and then we're going to bring in your bartender. Okay. It's... The question is, who played Chubbs Peterson, a former professional golfer who lost his hand to an alligator and agrees to mentor Happy Gilmore in the ways of golf? And our bartender for this match is our very own Cousin Ryan. You know, uh, before I give the hint, I got to say, this is a family affair. I love it. It's good to see my cousins all aboard. <laughs> but your hit, he's killing it in The Mandalorian. But also don't forget, he killed it as Apollo Creed. <laughs> that was name too was shit. Something I could do to. <laughs> I'll give you five more. I know he knows the time. face. He just does not have no idea who he is. No, I know. He, I, yeah. Two, one. Okay, we'll start with Tommy to see if he's got the correct answer. My man, Carl. Evers. Shit, I knew that too. I knew <laughs> that. I knew that. Dude, I knew correct. that. Laz, did you not get anything? No, no, I didn't. All right, no worries. He had perhaps By the way, Carl Weathers is ripped still. Still all time. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry for talking you over you there, Tommy. No problem. No problem. And number nine, your question number nine, your last question in round one in the category of release years. Adam Sandler had three movies released in 2015, an animated movie, a Netflix movie, and a theatrically released movie about video game invaders. Name all three. <coughs> we'll give you guys a few, a little bit more time on this one. I'm trying to remember if 2015 was a big year for me or not. I think if I have to think about it, it wasn't. <laughs> what qualifies as a big year? You got like a marriage, your children being born, and death. Other than that, it's just a meaningless void of suffering and drudgery, Moose. Was it one of those three things or not? 2015 was definitely not a big year for me. <laughs> All right. Well, then there we go. Laszlo, those are the only three real milestones you have to hit in life, man. <laughs> Good to know. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. Tommy. All right. I think I'm good with two of them, but I got Hotel Transylvania, Pixels, and The Ridiculous Six. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. <laughs> Laz, wow. how about you, buddy? The Ridiculous Six was close. Now, Moose, you have down here on the answers Hotel Transylvania 2. Oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, it was Hotel Transylvania 2. Oh. Uh, oh. You're so prudently close. Uh, uh, Laszlo, how about you, buddy? You know what? I was going to write 2-2, two, two, and I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. I mean, being that close, we should extend a little love to the Haas family, right? And give them each a point for this. Sure, they can each have a point. <laughs> or not have a point. <laughs> uh, going into round number two of the hostile match, we have Tommy Gunn in the lead, seven, with Lazlo bringing up the rear at six. Mm -hmm. 
Round number two. You get to spin our magic bottle to get your round two topic. You only get one spin because life is hard, so deal with it. You'll then get six questions worth two points each. You can go to multiple choice, but that makes them worth one point should you choose to check down to multiple. Your opponent can steal any missed questions. Hostile rules are in effect in round two. You also have your bartender's hints eligible in round two as well. And you can also still double down. So, Tommy, you have the lead, which means that you want to spin the wheel first, or do you want to defer and let Lazlo spin first? I'll spin it first. Of course. Okay. We're going to bring in our Wheel of Destiny here. And, Tommy, how this works is just tell me when to stop the wheel, and you'll get your category. Okay. Stop. You got Billy Madison as your category. <laughs> Stop your Bammy Schwan. <laughs> and asking your questions in the category of Billy Madison will be Benny. All right, Brother Tommy. Here we go. Your first question in the category of Billy Madison. Finish the quote spoken by Juanita the maid. That boy is a fine piece of work, all right. He's a fine piece of ass, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct for two points. Anita, <laughs> my girl. Your second question in the category of Billy Madison. What is the name of Billy's third grade teacher who he forms a relationship with that is played by actress Bridget Wilson? Veronica Vaughn. So that is correct for two points. All right, and then question number three. What does Billy do for his friend Ernie that only cool kids do? I believe he pees his pants just like Miles Davis. <laughs> that is correct. And your fourth question in round number two. Throughout the movie, Billy encounters a family of bullies that all say the same phrase. What is that phrase? I'm loving this because this is Lazo's category. I believe that phrase by those dirty redheads is or Doyle Gingers. rules. That's right. <laughs> you can never trust a ginger. Never. All right. Question number five in the category of Billy Madison. In the ath academic decathlon, what is the final question that Eric is required to answer that Billy chooses for him? Uh, I believe the, the question or the category? The category, sorry. The category would be business ethics. That is correct <laughs> for a two-point answer. Uh, and your final question for a perfect round number two, if you get it. After Billy calls his former classmate, Danny McGrath, and apologizes to him, Danny crosses Billy's name off his hit list and throws on some lipstick. What actor plays Danny McGrath? Oh, yes. The old people to kill list by Steve Buscemi. That is correct for a perfect round number two by Tommy. Wow. Oh. I think taking a strength off of Laszlo's. Yes. Weight. That was hard. That was hard for me to hear. So she All said. right, Laz, the wheel's going to get going, buddy. And just tell me when you want it to stop for your category. All right, I'm going to close my eyes and do it. Uh, stop. 50 first dates. Shit. In <laughs> <laughs> your category. And I will be asking your questions to you, Bubba, in 50 first dates. All right. Question number one. Remember, if you don't know the answer, you can check the multiple choice, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Question number one. At the Callahan Institute in Hawaii, Henry and Lucy meet a patient that has a very short memory named Tom. How long is Tom's memory? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Tom is correct. Ten seconds, Tom. Okay, question number two. What nicknames do Henry Roth and Nick 
the cook from the diner give each other? Oh, okay. Uh, can I get can I get multiple choice on this one? Sure. All right. Is it A tattoo face and peanut butter cups? B peanut butter cups and sweet pea. C tattoo face and bubs. Or D peanut butter cups and tattoo leg. See, I knew I knew tattoo face was one of them. I just didn't know the other. I think it's gonna be A, tattoo face and peanut butter cups. That's correct. For one just point. Like my grandparents. Uh, what album, so you can name either the song or the artist, does Marlon give to Henry when he is initially setting sail to study the walruses? What song oh. is he playing? Oh, I know this too. So you can name either the artist or you can name the song. Uh, is it, uh, it's, is, I can name the artist. Is it the turtles? Wouldn't it be nice? Okay, so I'll give you the two points for the song, Wrong Artist. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so the song is Wouldn't It Be Nice. It's by the Wouldn't Beach be. Boys. By the Beach Boys. Dang. Right. I don't know why I was thinking the turtles. I was thinking Happy Together. Also known as the turtles in some circles. Also known as the turtles in some circles. Okay. Uh, what football game does Lucy watch every day with her dad and brother? Name one of the two teams playing in that football game uh patriots it is incorrect so the question oh. goes to tommy for a steal oh, oh i know oh tommy and the football game that lucy watches every day with her dad and brother name one of the two teams that are playing in that game can i get a hint for a steal sure all right i'll take a hint so the question is going to be repeated and then we bring in cousin ryan for the question what football game does Lucy watch every day with her dad and brother? Name one of the two teams featured in that game. It's the classic Minnesota and Detroit beatdown. Uh, I'm going to say the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> what was that answer? That is correct for two points. Give them the answer. <laughs> That was a horrible end. <laughs> Thank God you got this category. <laughs> <laughs> Laszlo, what is the name of Henry's pet friend Walrus that lives at the sea park in Hawaii? I don't know. Give me multiple choice. Is it A, Jacques, B, Ashley, C, Mary Kate, or D, Jocko? Uh, I'm going to go Jocko. That's correct for one point. <laughs> Nice kid. Uh, Moose, Moose, you skipped the third question. Uh, okay, let me give you that one. Uh, this is a tricky one. So good luck. On what day was Lucy's accident and the day that she thinks that she is reliving over and over again? Oh. Just give me multiple choice again. I can't afford to lose it. Okay. Point. Uh, is it A, October 15th, B, October 20th, C, October 30th, or D, October 31st? Uh, I'm going to go with October 20th. That is incorrect. So it was Tommy, a big one flag, wasn't it? For a one-point steal, uh, what date? Does Lucy believe that she is reliving over and over after her accident? Is it October 15th? Is it October 20th? Is it October 30th or October 31st? I think it's October 30th. That's correct for one point. Good. All right. Hey, not good. you're not out of it yet because we're going into the six pack where anything can happen. for round three there are two six packs of categories the player in the lead picks which one they want then each player will get the entirety of their six pack of questions in a row 
The point values range from one point to six points, but they are in random order, so you may get your six pointer first. You never know. You will not know which category is worth what point value until after you have picked. There is no penalty for missing a question, and there are no steals. As in every round, you can still double down, declare a hoss hole, or ask the bartender for a hint. All right, going into round number three, Tommy has a lead with 22 points to Laszlo's 12 points. So how round number three works, we're going to bring in the six packs. Tommy, you have the lead, so you can select your choice of the six packs. And then, Laz, you're going to go first, and you're going to get all your questions. Okay. Laz, you still have two bartender's hints. You still have your double down, and you still have your hoss hole rule. Okay. Tommy, I think you have two bartender's hints, your double down, and your hoss hole as well. Here are your six-pack categories. I'm going to go with uh, Sandler's cameos. That. Well, you choose you choose which one do you want? The one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the right. The one on the right. Okay, Laz. So you're getting you're getting six pack number one, and Tommy's getting six pack number two. So Laszlo, remember you have your double down that you can use at any point, and then you have two bartenders' hints. All right, Laszlo, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Get her done. Well, we're jumping in right into the deep end with your six point question in the category of directors. That's six points in the category of directors. Uh, right. I should hustle this. I'm going to hustle that. All right. Okay. So that is your 12 pointer in the category of directors. Come on, stud. Okay. To date, director Frank Karachi has directed how many movies that Adam Sandler has been in? Oh, God. Uh, Before you take a guess, remember, you also have your hostel rule if you want to use that. Or, excuse me, your bartender hint if you'd like to use that. Yeah, I'd definitely like to use that. All right, and... And for six points in the category of directors, now 12 points. To date, Frank Karachi has directed how many movies that Adam Sandler has been in? Uh, yeah. The Middle Earth movies has this many in their franchise. Oh, God. Uh, you know, uh, I'm just going to go with eight. That is incorrect. We were looking for six. Six films. However, the bartender's clue was wrong because there are seven films in the Middle Earth franchise. Now, if you consider the 1978 animated movie. I do, and we can have a 40-minute discussion after this as to why. The, bar the bartender doesn't, so it's six. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me get that six-point steal for the hot hole. Shit. All right, your two-point question. That in the category of that guy agreed to be in that movie. In what Adam Sandler train wreck does Al Pacino play himself, who is hired by Sandler's advertisement firm to promote a new coffee at Dunkin' Donuts called Dunkachino? I'm going to go with Al Pacino. Well, no, 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 name the movie, not the actor. Oh, name the movie? Oh, oh, Jack and Jill. Okay. Correct. <laughs> A little grace by Uncle Haas there. <laughs> I love that movie. Got to oh, keep, gotta keep me in the game, kid. <laughs> Your one-point question in the category of animated Adam. Animated Adam. Okay. What is the name of Adam Sandler's 2002 adult animated Hanukkah musical comedy? Uh, eight crazy nights. Correct for one point. And your next question for five points in the category of serious Sandler. In the category of serious Sandler. Can I double down? Yes, you probably should. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're, you're ten pointer in the category of serious Sandler. What kind of gemstone does uncut gems revolve around? 
Uh, can I use a bartender hit on my double down? Yes. All right, let's do that then. What kind of gym does Uncut Gyms revolve around? <laughs> it sounds like someone having a stroke, Saint Oprah. Uh, someone having a stroke saying Oprah. Uh, oh, I, I, <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 so, uh, 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 and, <laughs> and seven, six. Ruby, you're on the right way, huh? You're Ruby. on the right path. Stick with it. Four, three, two, one, an opal. An opal. We were an opal. I knew that. I knew what an opal was. <laughs> That's a good hit. I was saying that, saying Oprah drunk. Opal. Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your next question in the category of Happy Gilmore for four points. Happy Gilmore for four points. In Happy Gilmore, why was Happy fired from being a construction worker? Uh, because he he shot. Did he shoot a nail in his boss's foot? Right. Or so he shot. He shot a nail in his in his head or something. That is correct for yeah. four points. <laughs> he shot it's a nail. Also, <laughs> Is also, how come I'm not a nurse's aide anymore? <laughs> Your three-point question in the category of Adam Sandler produced movies. Finish the quote from the Adam Sandler produced movie Grandma's Boy. Alex, you forgot smoking lamp. I'm sorry. Wait, can, can you repeat the quote? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Finish the quote from the Adam Sandler produced movie Grandma's Boy. Alex, you forgot smoking. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm not going to get this. I'm feeling this if I can. I love this movie. <laughs> Alex, you forgot smoking lamp. I'm sorry. Five, four, oh, three, dumb too, uh, two, one. We're looking for what most women ask Haas when they first meet him. Was that expensive piece? <laughs> uh, that riddle. expensive piece? Yes, Schneider, man. <coughs> uh, you tell me he was ready for he's that. Just a little, he's just a little guy, folks. That, is, that doesn't count, though. <laughs> that absolutely counts. All of your points should go to me. So, Laz, it's 28 to 19. Tommy has a lead. But you can still Haas hole him. So think okay. strategically. If he doubles down on something, Haas hole then, because if he gets it wrong, you get all of those points. <gasps> all right, Tommy. I'm going to be asking you your questions in the six-pack. All right. Question number four, and this is Sandler's Cameos. In what Rob Schneider-led movie does Adam Sandler have a brief cameo as the character named Mumbasa the Bongo Guy, a salesman at the antique store who often beats on the drums too loud and is certain to let you know where you can stash your weed? <laughs> uh, I, I believe it is the hot chick. That is correct for four points. And your loser... Laszlo, the littlest Haas. <laughs> so that, with that, that mathematically eliminates meaning Tommy is the winner of the Sandler match. Yeah, well, yes, you got lucky, and still number one in the household, bitch. No, nope. <laughs> that's right. Hey, that, that, go back to your room. I like a rerun on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Well, great playing, guys. Uh, Laz, I think you probably would have got every question on the Billy Madison slice, but you got 51st Days. Yeah, I got 51st Days. That's nobody's favorite Sandler movie. And if it is, <laughs> it's, a oh, it's a great flick. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I, I got to admit that was uh, that was key for me in this in this match was getting that Billy Madison category for sure. 
Yep, taking the strength off of Laz's boards. And yeah, it, round number three, we knew it was going to be a little tricky. So, uh, but you guys put up a heck of a fight. I mean, it's hard to stump you guys on Adam Sandler stuff. So we definitely had to throw some deep cuts at you guys. Uh, but hey, you guys played a heck of a match. Good job to both of you. I should have watched Uncut Gems. You should have watched Uncut Gems. You should have listened to your dad when he was drunk and sang Oprah. <laughs> I, watched, I watched Blended instead of Uncut Gems. I made a mistake. Oof. Yeah, that well, is that, a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it was a heck of a match, guys. We're so happy both of you guys were on the show. If you ever want to come back, by all means, just let me know. We would love to have both of you guys back together, facing each other, facing somebody else. Is there a category or a person you guys would like to challenge? Or if you would lose, because apparently I picked the least charismatic Haas to be on my show. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> That's quite true. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. I'd love to come back. Um, maybe have Laszlo pick the category so he stands a chance next time. No, that uh I mean pick we're good at comedy answers. So if we do like Seth Rogan or Will Farrell, then we I dominate him in both, but I think <laughs> we can put together a Farrell, a Will Farrell slash Seth Rogan match. Oh, that would be good. That would be good, yeah. Do your impersonation, Laz. <laughs> yeah, I guess that flies is more in the <laughs> that's, that's a really good Amy Adams. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Tommy Lazo, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank Me you too. so much for coming on the show. Uh, and yeah, we'll get you your Farrell and Seth Rogen match. Uh, we'll have to do the hostile match too. Uh, it'll be a rematch for Laz. Um, and maybe maybe this time around you'll watch uh, Holmes and Watson. No. <laughs> I think you should do an entire Haas drunk trivia. Just get your whole clan in here, man. Put the twins in here. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good with that. Yep. I wouldn't say no to that either. I'll accept. I'll accept that challenge. Yeah, we definitely should get the Haas, uh, the Haas clan in here. Get Renee, get Papa, Mama Haas in here. That'd be fun. Definitely. All right, guys. Well, we'll put that match together. And thanks again for coming on the show. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. All right. For, for those of you out there watching, after you watch this episode, go check out Mr. Tommy Haas. It's Beyond the Neon Veil, Episode Two. He had some great stories that have my family questioning me if I should continue doing this. So give it a listen. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hilarious show. Beyond the Neon Veil is available just like this show on the Last American Heroes YouTube channel. We encourage you to check us out every Tuesday for Beyond the Neon Veil, every Thursday for Benny and Moose Save America. And as always, please like, click, and subscribe or fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Go Bengals. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> nice.